Okay, hello everybody. Hello, hello. What is going on, everyone? How are you? Who is up? Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully uh, all is well with you and you're ready to start a fun new week here with me today. Are you? Are you ready? Are you sure? Are you positive? <laughs> Welcome, folks. <clears throat> Today is Monday, February 5th, 2018. Today is the first full gaming streaming day for me this week. All week I'll be uh, pumping out as much gameplay as I possibly can. Um, if you saw the weekend preview last night, uh, you'll have been caught up on the fact that I'm going to be playing probably four games, if not more, this coming week. <laughs> and... Uh, It'll be pretty fun. It'll be a pretty fun variety of stuff that I'll be covering, um, which is good. Variety is always good to not always be doing the same thing every day. You know, that's what happened last week is I was playing catch up with Dragon Ball Fighters because I was sick for three days and a lot of people were turned off by that and said, man, I don't like fighting games or whatever. You know, I don't like Dragon Ball and got upset that for several days I wasn't doing other stuff. Well, this week we're back to the variety style that I'm known for and used to, okay? Fair enough. So, ladies and gents, welcome, welcome. This is the first of two streams for today. If you're not aware, this is going to be more UFC 3. I started playing this game on Friday, and boy, <laughs> boy was it uh, an experience, I guess is the best way to term it, huh? Um... Yeah, I pretty much, first of all, I knew how to play the game. I knew the basic controls and everything because I've played the other UFC games. <clears throat> yeah, it seems they really ramped up the difficulty, uh, in particular in this year's career mode, uh, to the point where for the first two hours that I played, I got my ass handed to me regularly. <clears throat> Even though I was wailing on my opponents, I still remember that one fight where I knocked my opponent down five times. And he never got knocked out. Then he kicked me once and knocked me out instantly. And I was like, uh, did they change something in this game? Like, what did they do? Because this honestly does not feel to me like a UFC game like the previous games. It feels like they've changed shit to the point where now it's just ridiculously different. Like, why is it so difficult? So bad I got forced into retirement. <laughs> And then I had to restart, but when I restarted, I said, fuck this. All right, I'm going to try to make a more, uh, a more, you know, jujitsu throwing style, ground and pound style character. Because I think that's going to be more catered towards maybe what the game's looking for. Maybe the game wasn't looking for full stand up. Maybe it was looking for, you know what I mean? For something more traditional for MMA. So I made a ground and pound character and I've got five straight wins. <laughs> And it's not even like, it's not even that difficult now. It's like, geez, so now I know what the game wanted, right? But it's so stupid that, you know, I created this character of one archetype and completely got dominated every match. Then I freaking change it up and now I'm winning. So, things are going good. Um, Things are going well uh, in the game. And, you know, I took a couple days away here on the weekend to do all their stuff. But now I am back uh, for another major gameplay session of the game today so i hope you guys are excited and looking forward to it so that'll be our main stream for today later tonight i'll be returning to super mario sunshine for a couple of hours all right so some good variety today right good stuff i hope you guys are looking forward to it tomorrow we got an actual new game premiere that i'm excited for uh the shadow of the colossus <clears throat> excuse me the shadow of the colossus remake it's coming out tomorrow on PS4, and I'm pumped for this. Um, I'll be getting it and playing it, you know, this week, balancing with everything else, and I'm very pumped for it. I liked when I played Shadow of the Colossus in the HD collection, the Ico collection they released uh, several years ago at this point, wasn't it? I think it was 20, 2014 when I played it, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I swear it was 2014 when I played it. So... Had a lot of fun with it, and now that they've remade the game in modern graphics, modern controls, I definitely am I'm, I'm very excited for checking this out this week, okay? So I hope that you guys and gals 
We'll uh, show up tomorrow and check that out. You know, new new game playthrough. Always a good time. Uh, tomorrow night, PUBG will return. Wednesday will be more Shadow of the Colossus. No second stream Wednesday because I'm doing grocery shopping errands and I'm hoping to, to do more work on this upcoming DSP Tries It reward video for you guys. <laughs> Thursday, uh, I'll return to Shadow of the... Or excuse me, uh, Thursday I'll return to UFC. UFC will come back on Thursday. And then Thursday night's kind of up in the air. I could do more PUBG or I could do Mario depending on what people want. <clears throat> Friday is as well. Friday could be more Mario. It could be more Shadow of the Colossus. It could be more, you know... Uh, anything, you know, that's cool that I have a, a few days here in, in, like, Thursday, Friday, Monday. I could kind of, like, have these streams variable depending on what people like and what people want to see more of, okay? I am aware Shadow of the Colossus is not a very long game. I know that for a fact. It's only about, uh, if I remember what the first time I played it, it was about 10 hours. I think it was actually, for me, it was more like 12 because I was failing a lot on certain boss fights. It was weird because some boss fights I was able to bloop right away. Beat them, you know, first first or second shot, and then other boss fights were a major pain in the dick. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But, um, yeah, this week should be pretty fun. And then this weekend, depending on how everything goes during the week, let's say everything goes swimmingly during the week, uh, you know, I do real well in Shadow of the Colossus, I do good in UFC or whatever, and maybe even I finish up a game or whatever by the weekend, then this weekend on Saturday I may do a multiplayer day <laughs> where for the first time in quite a long time, um, I go back to, uh, g kind of, uh, doing multiplayer stuff. Like, I might do some Call of Duty, some Star Wars Battlefront, which I haven't done in a million years. I may go back and do some of that simply because I haven't done it in a while. It'd be good for variety, and it would build up some good gameplay that I could upload to my channel while I'm away this coming week. Because, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not aware, if you haven't been paying attention, starting one week from today, which is... February 12th, I will be on time off, folks. Time off uh, for my girlfriend to arrive and move in with me. She's going to be on the 12th flying in. I mean, picking her up. We're going to be unpacking all her stuff. Uh, then we're going to be going immediately, running out to get her a new phone and doing some initial shopping of stuff that we need for around the house since she's here. During the course of that week, four straight days, I will not be live streaming because I'm going to be doing all kinds of important stuff like getting her her driver's license um, and uh, uh, getting her uh, car insurance, uh, getting stuff for the office, for her, for her new office that's going to be set up. Uh, it's going to be really a busy, very busy week for us. And of course, we're going to be spending our first Valentine's Day together, which is going to be awesome. Very much looking forward to that, of course. <clears throat> so, yeah. It's going to be pretty busy for four days for me. I will not be live streaming. So FYI, guys, you know, that one week there will be a lot of downtime. However, what I'm going to be doing this week is purposely saving up uh, video content. I'm not going to be uploading everything to YouTube right away. So, for example, today I'm playing UFC and then I'm playing Super Mario Sunshine. I may only upload UFC. Reason being, I want to save up as many videos as possible so when I'm not you know, doing new videos and streams for next week, I'll be putting out content on YouTube constantly, so that way the YouTube viewers don't fall off and, you know, go away, which would really suck, all right? Now, <clears throat> during the time, all right, during the time when I will be not streaming, I will have a poll running on my Twitter, at they call me DSP, and that poll is going to be, what game do you want to see me play? What new release do you want to see me play? <clears throat> when I come back uh, from my t four days off from streaming. Do you want to see Dynasty Warriors 9, The Secret of Mana Remake, or do you want to see that Kingdoms of whatever the fuck indie game it is? I seriously don't even know what it is, and quite honestly, I'll be honest with all you guys, I'm not very interested in it. I've heard nothing about it, and from what I've heard, it's going to be a very frustrating, annoying game. So, it really wasn't on my radar. But then a few people started asking me if I'm going to play it. I'm like, I don't even know what this is. Um, but anyway, one of those games will be the game that I play when I come back from time off. Alright? So, I'm going to make a poll and people will be voting while I'm away on what game to see when I come back. And then, boom, as soon as I come back, start playing the new game. So, we shall see what happens uh, in regards to that. Okay? 
and uh, we'll go from there. Sound good? So there you go. That's what you can expect for the next couple of weeks, guys. Just throwing that out there. All right. So what else is going on? Um, well, you know, it is a new month. We have new sub goals here for the channel. Uh, you know, sadly though, what's happened, which is what I was actually expecting was going to happen at some point. I thought this was going to happen at the end of last month, but it actually is happening here at the beginning of this month. Uh, we've seen a big subs drop off, folks. I was up to over 560 subscriptions on the channel here at one point. Now we're down to only like 500 in the teens. And you may say, why the hell did we see such a huge subscriptions drop off? Well, <clears throat> there's two reasons. The first reason is because uh, last month it was the first time ever that I had su set up subscription goals for the channel. And I explained to everyone, listen, if we hit these goals, it's going to show growth for the channel. It's going to help me out tremendously since I'm not pushing for Patreon anymore. That was one of the major things. Remember, I shifted my goals off of Patreon and onto here on Twitch because I want to see growth on Twitch. This is what I'm focused on this year, the streaming. So I think there was a big invigoration of positivity from people saying, wow, Phil, you know, successful on Twitch. Let's do it. And they subbed and they were gifting subscriptions and it was just a big outpouring of support. No lie. Within two weeks in January, I went from having under 400 subscribers to over 500, all right? So I got basically got like 150 subscribers within, you know, 14 days. That's pretty crazy, right? That's pretty nuts. Um, and, you know, people were all excited over the course of the month. There was positivity, you know, seeing me in New Year, starting up with streaming and everything. This month... What's happening now is all those subscriptions, all those people that came in and subbed and gifted subs to other people, they were all expiring, which I expected was going to happen. And I was wondering, gee, how many people will resub and how many people won't? Well, now we're seeing that. A lot of that stuff was a big artificial inflation for the new year. And now it's kind of like deflating a little bit. All right. And that's okay. That's a natural thing that I thought was going to happen. What I'm hoping is that we can at least maintain around 500 subs because that was actually the goal that I had set for this channel was if I can maintain around 500 subs, I'll be basically making about as much as what I was making on Patreon when I was pushing for Patreon to be the focus of all my goals and everything, all right? The monthly goals. So as long as we can maintain around 500, things are good, all right? But obviously, I'm, I'm pushing for growth. Now, number two, this month in particular, February, hasn't been the hottest month for games. Let's face it. Number one, I was playing Dragon Ball Fighters. And Dragon Ball Fighters was not anywhere near as good as I had hoped it would be. In fact, the online play was disappointing, right? And to the point where I'm not playing it anymore. I'm done with it. Until they fix it, I can't even play the game anymore. Um, and, you know, playing fighting games is a divisive thing. Some people like them, some people don't. So I get the feeling a lot of people at the beginning of this month were like, meh, Phil's playing fighting games, not that big of a deal, right? And then number two, <clears throat> really there haven't been any big releases. You know, UFC was not a big release, let's face it. It just was not. It did not bring out a lot of people excited, you know, to see UFC or whatever. This is the third one. It wasn't like it's the first UFC game. It's the third one. Um, so it's not that big hype. You know, you're getting that big hype feel. I get the feeling that when big games start coming out that people really want to see, you're going to get that big hype feel back. People will start coming back and subbing. But it's tough. It's tough to maintain when there's not a lot going on in the realm of gaming. You know what I mean? Um, so what I will say is this, folks. All right. The goals for this month is for 600 and then 650 subscribers. We've got a long ways to go. No lie, we've got a lot of work to do, all right? But I'm very confident that we can hit it, all right? I am very confident that we can at least, at the very least, hit 600 subs. If you guys aren't aware, if we hit 600 subscribers on the channel this month, I'm going to start up a new cooking show with my girlfriend. Once she arrives and moves in, we're going to be starting a new cooking show where we record all kinds of, you know, meals and stuff that we're trying for the first time together. Uh, it may not just be dinners either. Maybe desserts. It may be a bunch of stuff. Because um, she actually is into baking. She wants to bake a lot of stuff. So I say, hey, why not, right? But we've got to hit, uh, we've got to hit 600 subs to do it. Right now, like I said, we're down. I think we're down to like 517. I could be wrong. I don't know. I haven't checked this morning. But I think we're down to around 517 uh, subs. <clears throat> and that being said, it is what it is, you know, you're going to see that natural drop off. I hope what's going to happen now is now this week I'll be playing Shadow of the Colossus and hopefully we'll get that motivation back. People will start coming back and, you know, feeling, oh man, this is cool stuff. Let's subscribe again. 
to go from there and uh, and hopefully, you know, onward and upward, right? I want to keep the channel growing. I know once new releases, big new releases people want to see start coming out, that's when you're going to see the growth. But it's tough, man. It's tough when you're doing downtime stuff. It really is. All right. Um, so, hold on a second. I'm actually going to switch my pillow here Urgh. that I've been sitting on. You know, after sitting on the same love seat for three and a half years, it kind of wears out. I'm here day in, day out, sitting on this thing all day, and it's completely worn out to the point where it's sunken in. So I actually have to sit on pillows now in order to get support when I sit on my own couch. I know that sounds stupid, but it is. That's what happens here. Um, <clears throat> right now, I'm just sitting on the end pillows. Eventually, I'm going to have to buy other pillows like to like to sit on for it to give me support here so I don't sink into the love seat. Okay, um, so, yes, folks, please consider subbing. In particular, you know, there are other levels of subs now. If you're not aware, there's a Tier 2 and a Tier 3 sub. If you subscribe to those levels, which obviously I get, uh, you know, some more money, which is great, but you will get access to exclusive emotes, including the Super Saiyan God DSP for Tier 2 and the Super Saiyan Blue DSP for Tier 3. <clears throat> So, yes, yeah, some cool, you know, good stuff there for the first time ever. Some motivation to actually do higher level tier subs. Um, so, definitely check that out as well. Uh, and let's see here. I'm trying to think if there's really anything else I want to talk about before we get to the standard stuff. Um, I don't think I have too much in particular to really talk about. Hmm. <clears throat> all right um i guess that's it i don't think that that's really it i was trying to think there any other things i want to touch upon or cover i think that's pretty much it <clears throat> all right folks well then let's do our little plug segment and then let us uh jump into ufc3 shall we sound good all right all right ladies and gents so if you enjoy watching my videos on YouTube, if you enjoy watching my streams here on Twitch and you like what you see, thank you very much for your support. I appreciate that, all right? If you'd like to go above and beyond just being a standard viewer, there's many ways you could do it and many ways you can lend your support. The first would be Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil where your monthly pledges allow me to afford basically the cost of operating the business including things like the cost of electricity the cost of games the cost of internet the cost of equipment you know just just yesterday i had to get a new monitor my monitor one of my uh, well here's the real story i've had two gaming monitors that i bought years and years ago when street fighter 4 released now street fighter 4 released on consoles in 2009 so nine years ago I bought two gaming monitors. I've been using those same two gaming monitors for nine straight years. No lie. Those have been the monitors I've used throughout the entirety of kind of my YouTube career. All right. Um, finally, back in the fall, one of them was dying and wouldn't stay on. It like wouldn't turn on properly. So at that point, you know, things were incredibly financially tight and I couldn't even afford a new monitor. So I said, what could I do? And I actually had a TV in the bedroom. Where it was just sitting there for years. I'd never used it. 32 inch LG TV. I said, I wonder if this would work. Popped it in. Boom. Worked fine. I was like, okay. I used that from October until uh, Saturday. The fucking thing died Saturday night on me. <laughs> I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Out of nowhere, it just stopped working. Turned off. Would not turn back on. I was like, uh. Shook it. Plugged it in. You know, unplugged. It. Nothing. Doesn't work at all anymore. Completely died on me. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Well, I needed a monitor right away. So I went on Amazon, saw what they got. Now, the, the, the monitors that I've been using are Asus monitors. I said, why not get Asus again? They lasted nine friggin' years of monstrous daily usage, you know, all day long using them for YouTube. These things are obviously durable as fuck. I'm going to get another Asus monitor. So just by complete coincidence, I was, you know, viewing them. I said, oh, this one looks good. Good price. You know, good response time. Go for it. Click. And it was cheap. It was only like, I think, 130 bucks or something like that. Even though that's not really cheap, cheap. But you know what I mean? It wasn't like, oh, I'm spending ridiculous, exorbitant amount of money. Uh, monitor showed up yesterday. I hook it up. Beautiful monitor. Looks great. 
It's a, in, by complete coincidence, exactly the same size as my old monitor. I didn't know what the size of my old monitor was. By coincidence, I bought one exactly the same size, which was pretty crazy. <clears throat> so, it's I'm actually using it for the first time today. But this is what I mean. Like, this kind of stuff comes up all the time. Just last month, I had to get a new pair of gaming headphones. Uh, the month or two before that, I had to get a new PS4 controller. When you operate a business like this, there's things that constantly pop up. That are things you're not planning on being an expense, but they end up being an expense. So, your Patreon pledges help me with that issue. Basically, when things come up, that's how I'm able to afford it, alright? Now, the cool thing about Patreon is that your contributions actually earn you some pretty cool stuff. It's not like, oh, you're just pledging money and you're not getting anything for it. No, you, you earn personal perks. For example, right now... Patrons from January are nominating and voting on indie games that I'm going to be playing in an upcoming indie games marathon. That's really sweet. This month, if we hit 650 subs on my Twitch channel, upcoming patrons, meaning people who pledge this month, will be nominating and voting on games for an upcoming Patrons Choice playthrough, similar to the Super Mario Sunshine playthrough I'm doing now. It's going to be more of the same, see? So this is really cool. The amount of control and interactivity you have over myself and my content for being a patron. It's really awesome. In addition, you can earn the ability to ask questions on my bi-monthly Q&A show, Ask the King. Or you could even have your own private Q&A video made. I just got a response last night from someone who I made a private Q&A video the other day for. He watched it. He loved it. He said, thank you, Phil. That, you know, really good. So, please consider pledging to my Patreon. Your pledges are very much appreciated. And the perks are pretty damn good. So, give it a look. Patreon.com forward slash Phil. <clears throat> Number two. My Teespring shop, folks, where you can get cool things such as t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, mugs, stickers, all kinds of fun merchandise, all of which obviously, you know, branded with logos, artwork, and all kinds of fun designs from my viewers and fans. The current design that's featured is the King of Fighters, made by Insomniatic Meat. There's also going to be lots of new designs coming out later this year for commemoration of my 10th anniversary on the internet as a content creator. That's right, 2008 to 2018. 10 years. Pretty damned awesome, right? So, thanks for that, everyone. Anything that you buy from my Teespring store, I get a pretty significant commission from. Helps me out. And uh, you get a cool collectible, right? And by the way, if incidentally you do choose to buy something off of my Teespring, feel free to send me a picture of it on social media, at they call me DSP when you do get it. I would be happy to fave and retweet that for my 25,000 Twitter followers. Okay? And then last but not least, folks. Obviously, if you're here live on the stream today um, and you want to maybe participate and get some interaction, get a shout out, you can either cheer, sub, or tip. If you do any of those things, they help me significantly, first of all, number one. And I'm very appreciative of that. Keep in mind that Twitch is now my main source of income. And I want to keep it that way. So let's keep up the positivity and the support going so I can keep doing this the way I've been doing it. If you like the positivity and all the fun around the streams that have been happening the past couple of months, this is definitely the way to do it, all right? Now, if you choose sub and tip, I'm going to give you a shout-out during the stream. Obviously, I'm in the middle of a heated fight in UFC. I can't do it immediately, but I'll be doing it between the fights or whatever, okay? Especially the training's kind of boring. So during the training, I'll be doing shout-outs and stuff, okay? Um, if you cheer 50 bits or more... If you subscribe to the channel and click on the share button, or if you tip me $5 or more, I'll give you a actual pop-up thank you notice on the screen as well. So not only will you get visual, but you'll also get verbal recognition for your contributions. Pretty cool, right? Now keep it in mind, I leave it at my discretion. If you're going to say something trollish or insulting, or you, you, tweet, you, you say a giant paragraph in your message, right? That's going to derail the whole stream because i got to read an essay and do an essay answer. You know, I'm probably not going to read all those out, but... For the most part, people who cheer, sub, and tip, you know, add very positively to the streams overall. Excuse me, burp came out there as I was talking. Uh, you know, this new change in attitude and positivity and interaction I've been having with you guys on the streams has been great. And I love it and I want to keep it up. So let's keep it going. All right, folks. I'm very grateful for those who do contribute. Um, outside of all of that, I think we've pretty much covered everything. So let's go ahead and it's time to give some shout outs to those who have cheered, subbed, and tipped so far. Okay, sound good? Alrighty. Scroll all the way down here. So first of all, folks, once again, I got to give a special shout out 
to those who contribute overnight, those who, when I'm not even live streaming, keep me in mind, remember me, and then they come out and cheer some and tip when I'm not even here. It's much appreciated, and I'm very thankful for it. So let's give credit where credit's due. First of all, Golden Colts did a bunch of overnight cheers. Looks like he did upwards of uh, maybe about 125 bits of cheering overnight, if, I, if I'm adding here correctly. Probably pretty close to that. So thank you, Golden Colts, for that. <clears throat> And Infinite55 also did a 25-bit cheer overnight. Thank you very much, Infinite55. I appreciate that. All right. Now, for those who contributed during the stream, shout out to Rob the King 7 who subscribed to the channel. Thank you for the new sub, Rob. I appreciate the support. Hope you enjoyed today's UFC stream. Also, hope maybe come back later tonight for Mario. Big Boy Dumper did a 30-bit cheer. What's going on, Big Boy? Good to see ya. He says, I've never seen or played Shadow of the Colossus, one of the few classic PS2 masterpieces I missed looking forward. Yeah, you know, when I played it years back, I knew nothing about it. Everyone was like, oh, it's just a boss rush game. It's a boss rush game. And I was like, nah, boss rush game, I don't know how good it's going to be then, especially some of the bosses are incredibly difficult or whatever. <clears throat> I don't know how much I'm going to like it. I loved it. I really liked Shadow of the Colossus. I mean, there were a few bosses that I remember I raged on and they beat my ass, but I beat it, you know, pretty pretty decent amount of time and it was a lot of fun and the, I remember it was just it feels like such a different game because that really is such a unique new uniquely designed game um compared to other games that I've played and I hate to say it that's kind of why I was disappointed with The Last Guardian is because when I played Shadow of the Colossus I was like damn this is a game experience I never really felt like I've ever played a game like this before this is really sweet <laughs> then when I played Shadow of the Colossus or uh, excuse me The Last Guardian it was kind of like Nah, I've played platforming games like this recently, you know. I mean, the only thing unique about the game was the annoying AI of the giant, you know, monster that didn't even obey you, and it just made the game more annoying. I was like, nah, you know. It felt like if that game had come out, you know, eight years earlier, it would have been great, but it was way too late for its time for when it actually released. <clears throat> so, Shadow of the Colossus, I loved, and I'm very much looking forward to replaying it this week. I hope you guys are... Gonna check it out, especially because keep in mind it's remade. It's not the same game. It's the boss fights are retooled, remastered, rechanged. The controls are different. The graphics are different. It's gonna be really fun, I think. So, <clears throat> alrighty. <clears throat> Shout out to Jack Spartacus, who did a hundred bit cheer to become the cheerleader for today so far. It's an NXT. Oh wait, this is UFC and toot toot everybody. Very nice. Big Boy Number did another cheer and says, Phil, what is your opinion of Adam Sandler? He makes me want to drink bleach. <clears throat> well, I'll be honest with you. For me, Adam Sandler has always been hit or miss. Like, I've seen some of his stand-up comedy. Some of it I actually think is pretty funny. Some of it I think it's not. I think it's terrible. I think it's really forced and kind of, you know, cringy. Um, his movies, in particular when he was at the height of his popularity in the 1990s, you got movies like Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore that did really well. Like, tons of money. You know, people absolutely loved them. Then you pair it up with movies like Little Nicky or The Water Boy. And you watch those, you're kind of like, Neh. you know? It really is hit or miss with him. It's like, some stuff is genius and some stuff is terrible. Now, in particular, I didn't really follow along with much of the shit that he did in the 2000s. I mean, I heard he did some really shit movies like Jack and Jill. Never saw it, thank God, and I never will. Um, Click. Um, What was that other one that everyone... Oh, Grown Ups 1 and 2. Apparently everyone's like, you know, Grown Ups 1 was good because it has a lot of things. As, as you're a kid and you're growing up and becoming an adult, there's a lot of kind of coming of age kind of things you learn as you're growing up and you're having kids. And that movie kind of had a lot of those sentiments in it, and that's why a lot of people like that movie. Grown Ups 2 was like a fetid pile of tiger shit. Like, it was just terrible. It was just, let's cash in on the fact that the first movie was good and just make a, a stinker just for extra money. And that's what the sequel was. But now, I mean, recently, look at what Adam Sandler's been doing. Uh, Pixels? A movie that absolutely looked terrible from the init just the initial idea right and uh now i mean <laughs> at the, at this point seriously at this point adam sandler in my opinion is no longer pertinent at all he was pertinent to a certain era a certain time frame the 1990s okay that was his height he made a ridiculous amount of money 
And he actually produced a lot of movies that made a ridiculous amount of money. And he just basically overstayed his welcome. Him and his friends, you know, the the Chris Rock, Rob Schneider, that grouping of, of comedians who kind of were very popular during that era have just like, oh, well, we're going to keep making movies. Why? Dude, you had your time. There's a time for everything. And it's time to move on, you know. <clears throat> People just don't get your style of humor anymore and or you don't got it anymore, dude. It's cool. You can move on. <laughs> So, that's the thing. I think a lot of people are like, my God, he's still making more movies? Yeah, he still fucking makes movies. Now, it's funny. A lot of the movies he makes, no one even sees. There was this movie he made called The Cobbler that apparently went, like, straight to on-demand video. You know, like, I think it was, like, an Amazon Prime movie or something. Nobody saw that shit. (laughs) That's what I mean. It's like, what the fuck? I don't know. I I don't dislike the guy. I've certainly never heard anything that the guy's, like, a jerk or whatever. But I just don't understand why he has this desire to keep making stuff when no one likes that style anymore of humor. You know what I mean? <clears throat> okay. Shout out to Infinite55 who resubbed for the third month in a row. Thank you, Infinite, for the three-month resub. I appreciate that. Shout out to Mark Rodriguez, 09, who also subscribed to the channel at Tier 1. Thank you very much for the sub, Mark Rodriguez. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Shout out to Papa Lou, who did a 25-bit cheer, and he says, Dear DDP, once again, he's writing to someone, I don't even know who it is, because my name's not DDP. I wanted to bring to your attention that one of the mods is continuously banning and timing me out for no apparent reason. This is very upsetting to me. I hope our friendship will allow me to receive some better treatment. I love you. Well, let me tell you guys. You guys are continuously mistreating... Papa Lou, let me tell you something. The floodgates are going to open, all right? The floodgates of hell are going to open. Valkyries, harpies, demons, flaming balls of shit are going to be coming your way. How dare you mistreat Papa Lou? We will not, we will not put up with any preferential treatment or any kind of rogue moderation on my stream chat. Let me tell you guys, I'm taking this with the utmost level of seriousness because we all know that Papa Lou does not constantly say ridiculous things that cross the line. He does not do that whatsoever. He's very reserved. He's one of the most respected strat chatters in a while. And there's absolutely no reason why he should ever be moderating. He should be completely immune from moderation status moving forward, all right? How dare you hold him up to the same rules and ideals as other people? Why? I mean, this is ridiculous. What do you think you're doing? All right? There's no way that Papa Lou would ever do anything that would be crossing the boundaries of what would be acceptable in a standard stream chat here on Twitch. So... That being said, I think we all know how we're going to proceed moving forward. Okay. Very nice. Very good. (laughs) What the fuck? Shout out to Golden Colts, who just did a 30-bit cheer. Excuse me, a 40-bit cheer. Thank you, Golden Colts, for the cheer. And The Loudest Fart has resubscribed for the second month in a row. And he says, been a fan since the beginning. I hope that 2018 is your best year yet. Thank you very much, Loudest Fart, for that sentiment. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we may have a record short pre-stream because it looks like the cheering is fine. Oh, wait a minute. We got a cheer. Hold on. Cheer just came in from Papa Lou. And Papa Lou did a 25-bit cheer. He said, Phil, I love you so much. Thank you for setting them straight. And also, mod me. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Papa Lou, obviously, with his... Very mature and very uh, rational behavior that does not exceed the boundaries of what a stream chatter should say or do and by any means on a Twitch chat. He has earned himself a spot among the revered and coveted moderators of, of our team. And obviously, I, in fact, I'm going to now officially, as of now, I am, pro- I am promoting Papa Lou to Supreme Dictator of the Stream. From now on, 
Pabalu is in charge. He does not have to abide by any rule. It is his, in fact, you know what? It's now his stream from now on. Papalu <clears throat> has gotten the promotion. This is it. Supreme dictator and ruler of the stream as of right now. All hail Papalu. He's earned that right. The supreme dignitary. All right, how about this? In all seriousness, we will now name Papalu is now officially going to be the ambassador. The ambassador of our channel. It will be his job, Papalu's job moving forward. This is very important. Is to make everyone feel at home. He's basically supposed to make sure that everyone has high morale at all times. So he's in some ways he's the morale officer. He's also supposed to be be a congenial congeniality officer. Make sure that everyone's happy and everyone is having a good time here and, you know, that everything is good, that there's no upsetting issues in the stream. This is a very, very important job that Papa Lou is now being granted, all right? I mean, it, it's I would only give this responsibility to someone who definitely I feel I could handle it, all right? So definitely, um, definitely think that he can handle it. And now from now on, all hail, all hail, channel ambassador, morale officer, and congeniality expert, Papa Lou. There you go. There you have it, folks. Okay. Shout out to Letarial, who did a 25-bit cheer, and he says, I hope that you have a better career in this game than UFC 2. 23-6 and six and no title fights. Is that what? Is that how I went in UFC 2? Because I have no no record or re recollection. I went 23-6 and six and never got a title shot. <laughs> That's great. <clears throat> well, I guess we'll see what happens. Right now I'm 5-1, and one, and the only match that I lost was the very first match, if you guys remember. So, um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. You know, why, you know, will I keep up the streak? I hope so. I guess we'll find out. Okay. All right. Shout out to Psycho Joe Three, who just resubscribed to the channel for the second month in a row and said, "Love you." Well, thank you very much, Psycho Joe, for that support. It looks like we're actually getting some good some good subs and resubs today. So maybe we'll actually build the subs uh, back up again. We'll see. Okay. So anyway, shout out to Jack Spartacus, who's the current top cheer for today with 100 bits. Keep in mind, guys, if you cheer, sub, and tip, I will give you a shout out. Um, uh, no tips currently today, so no top tip, but uh, some good some good amount of subs coming in, which is great. Thank you. All right. Um, I think. All right. Yes, I did. I caught. I'm caught up. I didn't miss anything, so I am caught up on all the cheer, subs, and tips for shout outs here on the pre-stream. Thank you, guys. Again, for your support, and remember, if you do cheer, sub, or tip during today's stream, I'll give you a shout-out in particular because this is UFC. Remember, during matches, it'll be difficult for me to give you shout-outs right away, but when the match ends and or during the training, which is a lot of the downtime in the game is the training, right, between the fights, that's when I'll have a big potential to give you shout-outs and, and, you know, talk with you guys in stream chat and all stuff like that, okay? <clears throat> Old Man Nutcake says, no shoutouts for Patreon supporters? Damn. Um, actually, when I've been seeing patron pledges come in, because I do check my email a few times a stream, I actually do do shoutouts. I've been doing that. Um, but I haven't had one in a while, in a bit now. Uh, definitely there haven't been any today. But yeah, I mean, guys, also if you pledge to my Patreon, absolutely. If you pledge to my Patreon, I'll check my email a couple times a day. I'd be more than happy to give you a shoutout during the stream for patron pledges as well. Okay. There you go. All right. Well, that is it, folks. I guess we are good to go. We're going to move forward now. It looks like we finished uh, with pre-stream shout-outs. Thank you for your support. UFC 3. Let's see how this goes today. I don't know how it's going to go, <laughs> quite honestly. Quite frankly, it could go well, and it could be horrendous. We're going to find out together. All right. All right. Thank you. And it is time. Let us begin. Thanks for a good peace stream. Yes.